Gaming is possibly the most underserved use case for the blockchain. There have been a lot of attempts, but nothing that's gotten any real adoption. Now Chain Guardians aims to remedy that with the first decentralized blockchain superheroes game where all of your in-game items, your characters, your weapons and armor are all NFTs which you can stake, trade and a lot more. They're working with Binance, Matic, Decentraland and several others with each blockchain having its own guardian. Plus the art looks awesome. I'm really excited about this project, so let's dig into it. Welcome to DeFi Now, I'm Josh Cross, and if you like what I'm sharing and don't want to miss out on all this fine, time-sensitive content, make sure to subscribe and join us. Mobile gaming nowadays often just sucks. Games are either filled with obnoxious ads, or they're pay to win, or the game just isn't worth the cost. And they also suck for developers because the market is so incredibly saturated and Google and Apple take 15 to 30% of every sale. This is ripe for disruption. By playing their RPG game and their NFT mining game, you will earn Chain Guardian credits which you can use to purchase the in-game items. Or you can exchange these credits for the Chain Guardian's ERC20 token when it launches. And I really can't overstate how huge it is for players to own their in-game assets. Take Fortnite a game that's free to play but offers in-app purchases. Since its launch in 2017, Epic Games has made billions of dollars selling skins, weapons, and other cosmetics that give absolutely no advantage to the players. And the players don't own these items, so there's no secondary market. Now think about what that would look like if the players actually owned and could trade these items. This is the future, but I'm getting ahead of myself and I don't want this to be a really long video, so let's get back to Chain Guardians. Today I'll cover the different Guardians, the NFT mining game, the RPG, and my final thoughts. And then we'll dig in deeper in a follow-up video. The Guardians are the superheroes of the Cryptoverse. The first Guardian was Bitsy Naka for Bitcoin. She's the one narrating the trailer video, which is linked in the description. After that, and I'm probably mispronouncing some of these, there's Seth Buter, Lolita Lee, Dashalox, Mudra, Hero, and Binancio. By the way, they worked closely with Binance's art director to design Binancio, and when they sold the cards, they donated 100% of the net proceeds to Binance Charity, providing lunches for children in Uganda. So that's really cool. Lastly, there's a Chainlink Guardian in the works, and Chain Guardians held a Twitter poll for people to vote on what the new Guardian will look like. Twitter users voted for a male, futuristic, friendly, and good Guardian, so it'd be cool to see what they come up with. There are some other important characters who aren't Guardians, such as Captain Devix Atazer, but we'll cover those in a later video. All of the NFTs in Chain Guardians are fully fungible. That means each one is 100% unique and numbered, and the number one of each Guardian has unique art from the rest, making them these super awesome, ultra rare, one of a kind NFTs, and that's probably why the top three Guardians are listed for such crazy high amounts. Anyone got 99 ETH I can borrow? No? There's a lot more to this, but let's move on to the NFT mining. Chain Guardians is the first project to implement proof of stake NFT mining. And on top of that, they also have a bring your own NFT feature where you can mine with your NFTs from other projects that are in the Cryptoverse Alliance, which you can see here. Each of these NFTs have a set amount of hash power, which determines your chances of mining a block. It's proof of stake, only instead of your chances being measured by the amount of tokens you've staked, it's measured by the specific NFTs you own. And as I said earlier, you'll earn Chain Guardian credits through the NFT mining, which can be exchanged for tokens when it launches. I love this idea. It incentivizes those who have adopted early without making it too easy for whales to buy in and control the network. There are Guardian cards and other NFTs for sale, but most of the cards that have been sold aren't for sale anymore. I'll be picking up a Guardian for myself, so in my next video, maybe I'll show you mining in action. But in the meantime, you can find a video of it in the Chain Guardian's YouTube channel linked in the description. Make sure to subscribe to them. In the cryptoverse, there's this constant struggle between the tyrant gatekeepers and the freedom fighters and guardians. So your goal is to build a team of guardians, officers, and soldiers and fight your way across the world to bring down the gatekeepers. It's turn-based, but it's also real-time, so things are happening in the game world even when you're not playing. This makes the struggle against the gatekeepers that more intense as everyone works together to fight back. The most recent footage was released over nine months ago, and it already looked pretty great, so I'm eager to see how they've improved it since then. Now, in order for this to gain massive adoption, this game will have to be addictive, 
fun to play, well balanced, have great game mechanics, have a low barrier to entry for new players, and stellar marketing. There's a lot of ifs in there, and it's really important that they get it right the first try because gamers are highly critical and unforgiving when they start a new game if they don't like it. Just ask the team over at CD Projekt Red if you don't believe me. Gamers obviously won't play a game they don't like, let alone spread the word to their friends, so we'll have to watch the launch closely to see how good the game is. The storytelling in Chain Guardians is top notch. The art is fantastic. I love the NFT proof of stake implementation. It's great to see they've already added interoperability and extra utilities with the other projects that are in the NFT Cryptoverse Alliance. They already have top tier partners lined up. The alpha release of the game from nine months ago looks great. And they've made their, their Guardian NFTs extremely scarce. And I didn't even mention their third game, the Street Fighter style PVP game for eSports. There's a lot going on here. And as I said earlier, this is all if they can pull it off. But if they can, we'll be glad that we're here early. They announced their token last month, which will be used for governance, but they haven't released the tokenomics yet, so I'll add that in a future video when I also cover the team. Something interesting I also want to add here is that Genesis Block Ventures, based out of Hong Kong, announced their investment in Chain Guardians on the 19th. And 24 hours later, Box Mining, who's also based out of Hong Kong, announced that he's interested in it because they've built an amazing game prototype and NFT farm. Could be a connection there, could be a coincidence. Either way, Chain Guardians is shaping up to have some stellar backing, which they will need to launch successfully. Links to the Chain Guardians site and social media are in the description, so check those out when you do your own damn research. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below, and hit like and subscribe while you're down there. Till next time, thanks so much for watching, take care, and keep on learning.